Did you know that Google AI Studio was updated? If you want to know what's new there, watch this video till the end. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're gonna talk about Google AI Studio new updates. Things are changing so fast and tools are changing as well. In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Google AI Studio and I'm going to show you how to use these new things. I recommend you watch this video till the end because these new features are really cool. If you're ready, then let's get started. In April 2025, Google AI Studio received a major interface refresh. They are redesigned a couple of things and they've added new functionality. If you want to test that with me, open aistudio.google.com and log in with your Google account. As you could see, left menu slightly changed. Now we see less options here. The prompt part and right side bar almost uh, stay the same. There are also a couple of changes inside different tools inside this left menu, and we are going to explore it later. So let's start with the first item is a chat. The new interface, we have additional functionality and this functionality called compare mode. In my personal opinion, it is really cool thing because now you can compare the response from different AI models at the same time. It means you can open different models side by side, ask one prompt and see the results from both of these models. It is really cool and really, really convenient. And the another cool part is that you can choose the specific settings for different model. Let me demonstrate for you a couple of examples. For instance, we can select two models they could be the same but we could adjust the temperature in another settings and then try to run the model and see the response i'm going to use the same model but change the temperature the temperature will allow uh, the model to be more creative and let's ask generate for us some programming song and as you could see when temperature is lower i got response faster but at the same time, you can see the song could be slightly different. Of course, in this example, it will be hard to evaluate the creativity part. But keep in mind, it's possible to do these kind of things. Okay, let's try another prompt this time. This time I will select different models and we will try to compare their responses. For instance, I will ask both models to give me a summary of the article and let's see if they can do that. Unfortunately, they don't have access to the article, but they get the information from the URL. That's why they understand the context a bit and they give me some kind of summary. It's not summary of my article, but it is summary. Probably if you turn on functionality grounding with a Google search, you will get more accurate result. I won't do it in this video because I showcased this functionality in my previous video. So if you are interested in watch it. But what I'm going to do, I will insert the YouTube link and we will try to get the summary from my YouTube video. As you can see, AI Studio has access to YouTube. So we don't have to upload the video. We can just give the link and ask AI to summarize it for us. And let's compare the summary from two different models. And as you could see, Gemini Flash did it faster and the summary looks pretty accurate. And Gemini 2.5 Pro thinking model require a bit more time. And it also produced the accurate summary. I would prefer the summary from Gemini 2.5 Pro. It looks more descriptive and better formatted for me. Okay, let's try the last thing. I will ask both of these model to give me a summary in one sentence. And Gemini Flash again did it faster because it's not thinking model. Keep it in mind. And let's see the result from Gemini 2.5. And as you may see, Gemini 2.5 Pro gave the shorter sentence compared to Gemini 2.0 Flash. So I hope you understand the idea of this comparison functionality. In my opinion, it's quite useful, especially if you are using AI to write different articles or do kind of summaries of different things. You can do experiments before you select uh, the model for your application. The only disadvantage you can compare only Google's model. Another small update of the interface 
is a prompt uh, gallery. Right now it's at the right hand side. You can look at the examples of different prompts. It's a ready to make prompt and you can browse different categories. It's kind of boilerplate, so you can use prefilled prompts and you can adjust them. It is not new functionality, just keep in mind the gallery is here right now. The stream section is the same, I, I won't talk about it in this video, but if you want to know, please watch my other video about it. Probably this is the biggest one, it's a generation video with VO2. In Google AI Studio you can generate free videos. Sounds cool, isn't it? You can generate videos into aspect ratio 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. The maximum duration is 8 seconds. Frame rate is a maximum 24 FPS in AI Studio. And the resolution is 720 pixels. Okay, let's try it in action and see what video we can get. I'll ask to generate a video of programmer write uh, a Python code. It took around 40 seconds to generate 5 second video. And as you see, it looks realistic. The programmer is writing Python code. It was hard to say what code is there, but at least we can see that there is a code. Sometimes uh, Google AI Studio shows the error. That said, the, uh, the AI cannot generate the video. If you see this kind of error, I recommend you to try it again because sometimes it does work from the second attempt. As you see, first time it shows the error, but second time everything was okay. And this is my video of aspect ratio 9 by 16. And it looks really okay. And the good thing is that uh, Google AI Studio allows you to download this video. Simply click the download button and the video will be on your computer. You also can upload the image and this model will animate the image. Let me show you. This is one of the example. Now let's try to do something with the image that I've created for my AI agent article. It failed again for the first attempt, but everything was okay when I tried it again. And looks, everything is looking good. Probably if you give the better prompt, you can animate different parts of the image. But since I didn't give any specific instruction, I've got what I've got. Keep in mind, this functionality doesn't work with the human faces. It means you cannot animate the uh, image with the humans. And the last thing is a starter apps. Basically, at this section, you can find some boilerplate code that you can use in your application. And the cool part is that you can actually edit the code inside AI Studio. It means you can select the application from the list and then you can adjust it the way you like, test it, and after that, download the code and continue development in your local environments. It is not AI agent. But it's good thing for developers to give them kind of idea what possible with Gemini. So you can explore the different applications or you can create your own from boilerplates. And another good thing is that you can preview your application. It's definitely useful start from learning purpose because it could give you understanding how different Gemini models work. And these boiler code you can reuse in your application, as I said earlier. And that's it. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Please click like and share with me your feedback and comments below. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with others. If you have any questions about AI Studio or any other things related to AI Studio, please leave them in the comments below. And me and my community will try to give you the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.